Hi everyone! Today I'm going to be showing you how I made these braided corn husk coasters. I think these are really cute and it's a really fun challenge to use as much of one thing as possible. And although it's a little time consuming, they're very easy to make. So I hope you enjoy! So for this project, you're going to need just a handful of things. Most importantly, you need corn husks. I had corn for dinner one night and simply decided to dry the corn husks myself. It was an easy process. All I did was cut them up into about half an inch width strips and lay them out in the sun to dry for a few hours. You'll also need a bowl of water, scissors, um, preferably sharp scissors, not a uh, bad uh, kitchen scissors, which I decided to use, and a string of your choice. I'm using unbleached cotton twine here, and a needle. I'm using a darning needle, so it has a dull tip, um, but I don't think it really matters. You just don't want to shred through the corn husks. When the corn husks are fully dry, they're kind of stiff and hard to work with, so I like to grab a few at a time while I work and let them sit in the water to soften up a little. To start, I grabbed three pieces of corn and folded the top pieces down slightly, and then wrapped a piece of string around it a few times to secure it. This will create a little loop at the very top of your braid, which will come in handy later for when creating your coaster. You're also going to have quite a little bit of uh, loose thread pieces here and there as you go and it's optional as to if you want to cut them all off when you're done or cut them off as you go. I like to cut them off as I go, it just helps uh, keep things clean and organized for me but it's totally up to you but that's what I'm doing here. So from here on out you're going to be braiding corn for a while, a lot of it, so just sit back relax and braid some corn. <laughs> Eventually you're going to come close to the end of your original pieces and that's when you introduce a new strand of husk. I like to leave about an inch left at the end, anything shorter than that and I find it's really tricky. So you're going to braid your new strand of husk into the braid which will secure it and do so with the other strands as you need to do so. And what naturally happens is the ends of each strand will stick out a little in the braid. Depending on the look you're going for, you can leave them or do what I did, which was trim them a little as I went to create the appearance of a smoother braid. It's totally up to you though. Once you've finished braiding, you're going to finish off the end of the braid the same way you did at the beginning by creating a little loop and securing it.
There's no real science to this, and it's kind of hard to explain, but you're basically going to wrap the corn around itself to create a coil and secure it with your needle and string. And the loop that you made earlier makes it a lot easier to start it and finish it. I like to pick a front and back side of the coaster, so while I'm securing it in place as I wrap the corn around, um, I make sure that the threads can only be seen on the back side of the coaster. I found that the best way to secure it is to weave the needle in and out of the bottom portion of the braids. So now that I'm a bit further along in the process, it's a lot easier to see what I meant by the top and bottom of the coaster. Here is the bottom where you can see a lot more of the excess threads, and then the top is a lot cleaner. Now I'm just finished up and reaching the end of my braid. I'm going to feed the thread through the loop a few times and tie it off to secure it. And here is the coaster. Now you can stop here if you want, or you can add a little border. I personally like to include the border as I think it adds a nice finishing touch, but it's totally up to you. So if you want to add the border, uh, here's what you do. I'm just going to wrap the string around the two last rows of husk all the way around the coaster and then tie it off. I find this to be the most time consuming portion, but flick on a Netflix show and I promise you'll be done in no time. And that's it! You're done! I think this is a really pretty coaster to use for drinks, or just underneath candles, vases, or other decorative objects. I also think these would make really pretty placemats, but that would be quite the task. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you end up making one, I'd love to see it. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video! Bye! Hey guys, I'm back today for another review on my cat and my sister. This is nice video quality. Are you filming? <laughs> hey guys, subscribe, like. I will actually include that. <laughs> anyway, have a good day. Wow.